Yeah, that Dow Fnatic are in a, quite a, a awkward position because they don't have the haunt. Oh, but still going to try like run in. MP again, doomed and roared, but there's the Astral down. That Meteor not doing a hell of a lot. And mid one is silenced with the impetus damage out. There's the false promise. The Sunset Eclipse comes through, but QO, he just needs to right click people. Keep the damage flowing as DJ's dropping low, but so is QO. Ohio up onto the high ground, but the impetus damage will clear him up. But the rest of Fnatic, they're going to get completely wiped here for F. There's another hero to kill. Stun, swap, kill. No! Oh. Febby! Not like this. He swaps back Dubu instead of the Doom. It's insane! DJ's gonna run forward with the Doom down onto Forever with the Horn out. They're gonna try and chase these MVP pesky heroes out of the base. But Forever just stands his ground. He's still got the Agency Immortal and QO. He's being burnt out, but he asks himself up to try and save himself. And Forever will lose his first life, but MP, he's in the spin. The Sunstrike Meteor, the swap back from Febby keeps him out of danger. And Febby's now dropping low, but he's gonna be healed up. Not enough! Through the Purifying Flames, but Earth Spirit's gone. A Spectre finally takes him out. Forever and QO, though, on the retreat. This wasn't the best from for now, uh, from MVP, but that ice wall, I mean, it's going to hold forever in place a little bit, but he turns and battles with the Impetus shots out. He's healing up, and now with the Eclipse and the Omni Slash, MP as well as QO, they're looking for Net now, and Forev forces them back one by one, still beyond gold like Net is going to be another kill for the Enchantress until MP steals it away. Forev does get zoomed in with a horn forward, Net. Looking for a target. It's going to be Dubu for now. The Earth Spirit does get burnt out. And a well-timed Sun Strike, but an even better time. Febby swap back. Forev still not going to be able to last through this. Even with the healing ward down, MP has to do his best to clear up as many as he can. But he's slowed down by the boars. So looks like he'll be giving up his life as well. Unless this spin TP is successful and can complete. He gets himself back to Fountain, in fact. While Febby is chased out by Nap, but he's being healed up by what? Four purifying flame stacks. There's two on him right now, but he's had a couple thrown down with the sun strike forward. Bebby is looking for three four three. He turns to fight, but the fate edict stops him from right clicking through onto the oracle. Sentries drop down as well, and net a mid wanna take him out. Forever is just not losing any HP. Oh man, the armor stacks back onto the Yule to target now. The invoker's up in the air, but the false promise of the DJ the sun strike. QO swap back, but still dies and drops. Bebby is on the run away, but net he is running rampant through these heroes until Morev makes a stand, holds his ground, and throws out impetus shot after. Impetus, but it's still MP and MVP who are losing heroes drastically. Mid one. Oh, he's got a tornado. Ice wall is already used, but he's still got a couple of spells to throw out here. And DJ Hard the stump. He tried to time it with the tornado, but he's not going to get him for him. Now trapped in the fortune's end. Fnatic, they've got this in their hands at this point. A team fight is definitely going their way. And MVP fully wiped. 25 to 25. Here okay, they go. Numerous ways to control them up until Febby stuns him. Yule Scepter's there, the kick will miss, but they've got the Doom onto Forev again. Now oh, QO, he's up on the high ground, but look at his HP, he's just dying! He cannot stand up against this with a good omen slash back on the 3-4-3, the crits and hits come through from MP. And Fnatic lose their Oracle, but with a Deathling Glass Meteor missing out onto the Juggernaut, mid one, he's got limited mana left, just enough for a Ghost Walk to get himself back away from this. But MVP have got to be on the run once more. Even with that Glimmer Cape through, with a stomp on two, Forever and MP both stunned up. But it's Bebby dying on the back end of the fight as the Ventral Spirit will lose her life now. The rest of MVP, what are you up to? There's a Roar available, there's an Ice Wall down and Forever. This Ohio Beastmaster's looking for a target to try and give a net. The Spectre is dropped. They get him with the impetus damage and MP. He cannot turn and fight this one. With a Cold Snap through, the Observer Ward down and the nuke damage from 343. Dubu's TP out. Gonna get cancelled out by the Yule Scepter and Fnatic. Guess what, Heen? They wipe MVP again. Guard blinks in. Oh my god. Stun very low, but stun. this Doom, he's trapped in there with a tornado EMP and Ice Wall down onto two or three. DJ still dropping low, and QO's forced to BKB. He throws the stun at his Eclipse, helping us do a damn thing. Net wants to get in here and try to steal it out, but the Sun's going down. Forever's gonna dodge that one out, but it's actually gonna be Juggernaut, who picks up the Ages of Morton. QO stands his ground. Net back to dropping low, but an Omni slash back out from the Juggernaut. will try and clear up mid one, but they tank it through. Three or four heroes here from Fnatic dealing with this damage output, and now. Enchantress dead, OD gone, MP blinks oh, yeah, away, out. but it's mid one who is even quicker, up onto the high ground, into the ramp, net turned around on by MP, he wants to try and fight through this one with the healing ward up onto the other, swap back from Febby, but the MP burns through them, DJ again with a two man stop forward, but QO has to ask himself through the damage output of mid one, oh man, look at Fnatic drop through the Omni Slash, the damage from the Juggernaut, MP tries to clear them through with a bash of damage, he's done a damn good job, but still, Fnatic, 
They are the ones on the front foot. Net is back in the uh, tackle with go. the buyback and a horn forward. Net is looking for a kill to Forever. The damage Chatham is finally gonna die. No buyback here from Forever. A QO. Fate Edict means he cannot click, he cannot destroy, he cannot damage Fnatic. Invocal buyback to try and end this game with Dubu and MP. Now QO all up into the high ground. MVP. It's time to defend yourself back, but tier four's dead. Rax looks like it's gonna get destroyed. MP. Forev, this is your last stand, but with a doom onto the Enchantress, on this slash is going down at the mid one, there's the Invoker dead for 110 seconds, the throne is dying, Forge Spirits and Necreators clear it up, and the game goes to Fnatic in his best of five, what looked like a sure win for MVP, goes the way. Oh, the Malay. Stuns mid one. Already dropping very low. Dubu, he's dropping even lower though with the fiery spirits. And now the fairy fire. The shards will trap him in. He's killed off by the burn. And mid one is kept alive through this all. He's healing himself past the damage. But the pounce. QO finally traps him in with another fairy fire forward to roll across. And now into Febby. He does die eventually. But it's MVP that will lose numerous heroes here. There's the Ventral Spirit. Will die before Fnatic get in there, but with a roll into the Magnetize. There we go with the ultimate from that Ebola Spirit. He's doomed up, but it's too late. Febby already dead with the Witch Doctor God as well. Dubu as well, he's dead, but the Doom clears up the Earth Spirit. Aegis, who picked it up? Where did it go? It's going to be Net that clears himself through this Fnatic, or through the MVP lineup, and Forev burnt by the Fiery Spirits. Gets right clicked Ship into oblivion. Guard, though. Lots of armor, the supernova is early, and can they try and force this down? They cannot. MPs. BKB, the fresh 10 second one. It's already utilized here, but with the ice shards there, the punch up into the air, and MP is dropping very low. He dooms up DJ with his final dying breath, though, and QO is being burned through by the Sunray. The damage output from Ned is good enough, and Dubu is going to drop as well with the Death Ward down. It's a triple kill for Ned, and Sven is time to hunt and look for more. He blinks forward aggressively, looking for the Sven stun, but it's the Tusk Snowball. An ultra kill from Sven. First a little bit swap back, no Aegis, so Net with a Doom oh. back onto him, but with a Supernova out, the Fire Spirits QO, he's dropping so low, and Net just surviving through it all, he's life stealing back past the Doom damage, and now Net is not even gonna die! With the Sunray out, Fnatic, they've kept everyone alive, and QO's gonna miss the pounce, but he still gets the kill with the Dark Pact, and now with the Infinite Damage back onto QO, they'll clear him up! The buyback from Doom, shortly followed through with the Slug buyback, likely here to defend their racks. There we go, QO into the game once more. 3 4 3 Ohio, time to jump away with the Forest Spirits back, but he's walking it up. QO looking for the pounce with the Sprout down onto the Phoenix. The kick forward from mid one, not gonna be able to save Ohio. God strength is there from Net, and he's got the Blink stun. He's going to probably try and look for a kill onto QO, but the Dark Pact, Death Pact even, is turned around. QO, oh, ho, ho, Shadow Dancers away. But it's the Death Ward down onto DJ that's going to do a little bit of tickly damage. Death Ward not going to last too long, though. As Dubu, as well as the rest of his comrades here, MVP Phoenix, tap out in game number two. And a bolt. Oh, are you kidding me? DJ gets swapped back into the fountain and buys a blink so he can actually get himself out of the fountain and survive. That uh, is being burnt out, the double iron shells there, the sun strike is going to land onto Qo's head as well, and Qo is dropping very low, the double iron shells is going to try and kill him off, and Qo he doesn't level anything up, he's going to die! Four he seconds, three seconds, he's gone! Bounty Hunter's not getting into his track just oh, yet, but with nice. the sun strike, sure, oh, combination for three. three, he gets back into the trees though. The wave of terror will give the vision across the roar, no, not thrown out just yet, the static storm onto forever, so he can't get, get his ultimate down, the sun strike is going to land onto nobody, but it's the reaper scythe onto Ohio that matters the most, with Net looking forward to the kill, onto forever, the god strength is there, and the shuriken will bounce. But Net needs to get this done. A war cry allows him to chase a little bit further forward in this Earthshaker illusion from the Wall of Replica. Trying to cancel out a blink or something, but it's Dubu that's caught. And Net, oh, now he's stunned up through Fisher and Magic Missile on the back end. QO, QO, down to the low ground. The Nefty Blast kills him off. Mid one finds the pick. And Fnatic only lose their darts Looks like here. he's going to be the fourth. No chance of escape. Blink dagger on cooldown. Damage output's good enough. And the Sun Strike will secure. The question is, can Febby retreat? Doesn't look like he can. The short range glimpse back into danger. And this is the zone of death. As a triple kill goes to mid one, up to six, two, and five. What is he up to down there? Can he juke them this time? Doesn't look like he can. And QO, with no buyback for 70 seconds. He bought up a heart and a diffusal blade. Febby looks at the Fisher across, but the golden gravel moor is not long enough range. And they turn back on the Dubu, the two man stun. But Febby, Echo Slap back on the mid one and net. The Sven, the all. Oh, there we go. Reaper's side takes him out. 105 seconds without him. The Necro. Not gonna get touched by that one, but it's still Fnatic that own this fight. And back to back, the Kill Dog that holds their place, but Dubu swaps out the four of Beastmaster, still dropping very low and rolls back onto 343. Femi and Dubu rip the shreds on the back end of the fight. They don't even need the Sven. The tornado will barely scrape past the Ohio. Oh, no, uh, oh, he catches Febby. Catches Febby. The Necro is the only one left standing.
longer than anyone, even though he was the first to die. Oh, and he has BKB though. But he doesn't have the TP, which means... He still might be. Yeah, I, I think he's dead regardless. He yeah, can he's... mech, he can throw out his death pulse. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. He tries to go for the Reaper's Life back onto someone. But it's QO that's keeping himself forward into the DJ, there's the Kinetic Field down QO. Double gangers over the field. And they are mid one. There's the Tornado EMP back onto it. He's got a nice wall to throw as well with QO. Still chasing this one. He blink dodges the Phantom Lance. No one turns back around. The Ice Wall is down. But Ohio needs to get back in here with a surge of the vacuum. Looking for it. There it is. In the Stunning Storm as well. The Kinetic Field trapped him in. The wall drop. And MVP. They make sure it up into the high ground. Maybe looks for the Echo Slipper. Still cool down for 30 seconds. The Fisher blocks them off. But QO's still battling through. The Deadly Blast forces the back. And the Doppelganger jumps forward. But MVP, they've lost two big heroes in quick succession, and QO might be the third. With a stun from Dubu, not going to do a damn thing. He's being chased out by Ohio, and 3-4-3, up onto the ramp again. And QO, QO, mid one has no mana left, but he's got enough to rip through QO's PL. And MVP, four heroes gone. Earthshaker's the only one left standing, and he has to defend the base alone. The thing for MVP is they don't have buyback on pretty much anyone. Uh, again, this is a do or die moment for them. With these tracks coming out, Febby, he scouted the blink forward. Tornado catching onto Dubu in the back end of things. Tier 3 is already gone. And Net still has his Aegis of the Immortal. He's still got his BKB. Duo. He's thinking about jumping forward. Febby oh, has what? Febby. Out. Blink, but doesn't Echo Slam, and he is destroyed! Two hits and gone. With the Static Storm there, the Deafening Blast and the Meteor clears up Dubu and MP. Oh so, man, oh man, oh man, MVP inside their own base, net, his mana is being diffused, but QO, he's got to realize it's an Agent of the Immortal, the buyback from the Necro will bring him back to the land of the living, but these Phantom Land illusions, they're not doing too much, net still has a secondary life, and with a Veil picked up by the Disruptor, what have MVP got left to give, the tank is empty, the foot, part down to the metal. Oh, they're pushing it to the limit. QO, EMP, burn. Oh, boy. Oh, it does that to me. I want a certain item out of it and I put it in the right yeah. spot. MV MVP don't even have glyphs, so unless they want to somehow try to make a comeback versus Mega Creeps, they just have to go in. Oh, God's strength is there. Dubu swaps him back into the raw. Net, of course, does not have this Aegis, but with a Lincoln Spear down, Static Storm, where's the vacuum? They're looking for the cleaves through, and the field of the through, but it's not going to be enough just yet. QO, Echo Slam from Febby doesn't do a freaking thing. As Fnatic are just cleaning up house. Doppelganger back out from QO and Net is dropping low. But mid one, he's got this Invoker going through. Onto the racks, back again. The Mega Creep is going to be here soon. The double wall is a nice little X marks the spot. But the Tornado back onto QO and MP. QO, the poor little Phantom Lancer. Doppelganger's back, but he's still low on the HP. This one's trying to an illusion, but this PL, not long for this world. MP taken out of the game. A five dead. The buyback from QO is available, but GG is called. Fnatic win this best of five. 3-0 against MVP and get themselves that secured spot qualifying for the epicenter LAN in Moscow. Oh, what a performance by Fnatic. I think the third game was definitely um, just surgical from Fnatic and I could see, knowing these guys personally, uh, when you start off a series, best of five, uh, down 0-2, it's hard to play your best game. And there were just so many mistakes from...